Solving problems with volume and capacity. When solving problems with volume and capacity, you will need to use either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. It's important that you understand the problem so that you can choose the right calculation. Let's start with this problem. A spoon has a capacity of 10 millilitres. If a spoonful of water is added to the jug, what will the total volume of liquid be? There are some key words in this problem that help us to know that we must solve it using addition. These key words are added and total. So first of all, we need to know how much water is in the jug. If we look at the scale, we can see that there are 40 millilitres of water in the jug. And remember, we're adding a spoonful of water, which is 10 millilitres. So to solve the problem, we must do the calculation. 40 millilitres add 10 millilitres. 40 adds 10 is 50. So the answer is 50 millilitres. It's really important that we include the unit millilitres. If we just wrote 50, this would be incorrect. Now let's look at another problem. Adil has made 9 litres of orange juice in a large tank. If he fills two 1 litre bottles, how much orange juice will be left in the tank? For this calculation, Orange juice is being emptied or taken away from the tank. So to solve this, we will use subtraction. First, we need to work out how much orange juice will be emptied from the tank by filling up the two bottles. Each bottle has a capacity of one litre. Two lots of one litre is two litres. So 2 litres will be emptied from the tank. So here we have to use a bit of multiplication as well. What calculation do you think we need to do to finally solve this problem? Well done if you knew that we just need to do 9 litres subtract 2 litres. 9 subtract 2 is 7. So the answer is 7 litres. Now, how about if Adil filled up two 2 litre bottles instead? How much orange juice would be left in the tank? Two lots of 2 litres equals 4 litres. So if there is 9 litres in Adil's tank and he empties 4 litres to fill the bottles, how much would be left in the tank? Well done if you knew that 9 litres subtract 4 litres equals 5 litres. Now it's your turn. If he fills 3 2 litre bottles, how much orange juice will be left in the tank? Pause the video and have a go. Three lots of two litres is six litres. So to solve the problem, you should have done nine litres subtract six litres and you should have got the answer three litres. Well done if you did. Now let's move on. A dairy sells milk in either two litre or five litre containers. A nursery school orders four five-litre bottles of milk. How much milk is this in total? To solve this calculation, we need to use multiplication. We need to know what four lots of five litres are. Four times five equals 20. So the nursery orders 20 litres of milk a week. 
Remember, we must make sure that we include litres in our answer. Just 20 would be incorrect. Now it's your turn to work out how much milk the cafe and the grocery store have ordered in total. Pause the video and have a go. The cafe orders three 5 litre bottles of milk, or three lots of 5 litres. 3 times 5 equals 15. So the cafe orders 15 litres. Well done if you remembered to include the litres in your answer. Now for the grocery store. The grocery store orders nine 2 litre bottles of milk, or nine lots of two litres. Nine times two equals 18. So the grocery store orders 18 litres. Well done if you got both of those correct. Now let's look at one final problem. Selena is making perfume. She has made the perfume in a jug but wants to pour it into smaller bottles so that people can sample the perfume. Each bottle has a capacity of 10 millilitres. How many bottles can Selena fill? For this calculation, we need to use division. First, let's see how many millilitres of perfume Selena has made. Selena has made 70 millilitres of perfume. Each bottle has a capacity of 10 millilitres, so we must divide 70 by 10. 70 divided by 10 equals 7. So Selena's perfume will fill 7 bottles. So remember, when solving problems with volume and capacity, Think carefully about which calculation you need to do to solve the problem. Always include the correct unit in your answer. ML for millilitres or L for litres.